A tri-state couple with strong ties to Ukraine are fearing for the safety of friends and family. They spoke with local 12's Paula Todi tonight. She joins us with their take on what's at stake and what they're hearing from people in the country. Paula. Rob, the husband and wife you're about to meet from Batavia were both born in the U.S., but their parents all came from Ukraine after long struggles getting to the U.S. Their families wanted freedom, and they say that's what people in Ukraine want tonight. My mom, my Aww. mom embroidered that. Yes. Lisa Popik and Ihor Shizuitz are immersed in Ukrainian culture and watching closely the country they love. It's really, really hard for us. Lisa now works for Procter & Gamble, but was a reporter for the Cincinnati Post and one of the first reporters into Ukraine after the fall of the former Soviet Republic. Her father, who fought for freedom from Russia as a young boy, visited her on that trip after having been away 56 years. When he got off the train and he saw the Ukrainian flag flying and heard everybody speaking Ukrainian, he was just like a little boy. He was so excited and so happy. Ihor says even since that time, he's noticed during his visits, Ukrainians have felt Russian dominance. They just want their own stuff. They just want to be a neighbor and live free and have their culture and try and uplift their people. That Everybody's struggling over there. As a U.S. soccer coach, Ihor has traveled to many places and has kept in touch with family and even coaches who have recently been to the Ukraine. I know from everything I'm getting out there that the people are armed. The people are armed, not just the military. Ukrainian military is nowhere near the size and strength of Russia, but the people are armed. For us, um, um, this is just so poignantly painful because, because it's family, but also because we've seen from such a personal level how hard and how long the Ukrainians have fought for their independence and their freedom. Lisa has a family friend killed in recent protests and a cousin still hospitalized from exposure to the weather during the unrest. They're all braced for, for civil war and just expecting the worst. Ihor says it's not just Western Europe on the side of Ukrainians and against Russia, but all the former Soviet republics. He says the West needs to make it economically uncomfortable for Russia with sanctions. And Lisa says the situation needs intervention from several countries. Rob. Paula, thanks very much. This